this is Eric. Uh, I'm coming to you from Plant City, Florida, and my YouTube channel is Eric Rebens Plumeria. Here's another video that I'm going to do. Um, it is on how I take a cutting, how I clean them, and how I seal the ends so that they can callus properly. So here I have a Miami Rose I got from a really good friend of mine's tree. Uh, struggling a little bit and let's see it's pretty leggy. So I'm gonna make a cut right about here. So it's important to have a clean cutter. Here is uh, just a PVC pipe cutter. It's gonna hit with alcohol. Get that off and it's important to also wipe it off because if you make a cut with that wet alcohol right up into the tree, uh, it could burn the tree. So you don't want that. So I'm going to make a cut right here, like I said. Nice straight cut. And it just cuts just like that. Boom. So now I've got this nice cutting. And this is a little dehydrated. I should be having sap come out. So I'm going to take my next step here is a press and seal. I like to use this. I take a little square, put out like that. I take a little square. I take the end. I just hold it with my thumb and then just kind of. Pull it tight, not real tight, so it rips. And then I just gently pull down and I get a nice firm seal. It's nice and flat. That's what you want. And then I take a rubber band and I wrap it several times here just to make sure that cling wrap isn't going to go anywhere. And just like that, it's cut, sealed, and I'll stand it on end. Just like that. In 10 to 14 days, it's going to put a nice a uh, callus ring on here and they're going to be ready to be potted up in your medium, whatever you choose. And uh, just so everybody knows, I'm going to be uh, adding more videos uh, throughout the season. Uh, thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, hit the like, and hit the notification bell. And then you'll be notified of any new videos that I have. Um, if you have any questions or you want to make any comments, just put them in the, in the link below. And uh, until next time, thank you.